This will be the third video as part of the Teach with ArcGIS for Schools training course and it will show you how to create a field collection survey using Survey123. Today we will create a school transport survey using Survey123 and the training will be broken up into two parts, setting up your Survey123 and filling in the survey, analysing your results in Survey123 and viewing the survey and other data on a web map. The first thing we'll do is go to Survey123 for ArcGIS in our browser and click Sign In. Sign In. And click Create a new survey. Use the Web Designer. Call your survey School Transport Survey and give it the tags teach with ArcGIS and click create. When you see this screen you'll be able to start building your survey. But first of all we're going to add a description for our survey. We're going to centre it and bold the text. And we're going to change the size of the text from small to normal and we can just backspace this and looking how it looks on the screen all the time. Our first question will be single line text and we'll call it school name. We'll call it school name and say this is a required question and click save. The next question we click add, click single choice and give it the label are you a staff or a student? We then offer the two choices for teacher or student and click the minus arrow to take away the third option can also change how it looks and we can say this is a required question and click save. The next question we click add and we can say multiple choice. For the label we can say how did you get to school and we can give the options walk, cycle, Add some more options by clicking the plus symbol. We're going to add three more. Bus, train, or other. And we're going to have it as horizontal. Set this as a required question and save. The next question is a number question. So you click add and we can click number. For a label, you can say if you came by car, how many people were dropped off at the school? And we're not going to click this required question because people might have come in different forms of transport. So we're going to click save. The next question we're going to click add and single choice and say how long did it take you to get to school? I just clicked save there, you can click save as you go along or at the end depending on how you feel when you're creating the survey. So less than 5 minutes, less than 15 minutes Less than 30 minutes. Add another option. Less than one hour and one more. For more than one hour. And click horizontal. Compact. And this is a required question. 
and click Save. Next you click Add and Single Choice again. Type in, could your commute be improved? Type in, yes or no and click minus to take away the other option and click this required question and save. Next click add and multi-line text and put in if yes explain and this don't tick the box for this is a required question because it's only if you say yes and click save. Next click add and click GeoPoint to add your map question and put in mark on the map where you come from and you can use the default map to select from which is imagery, imagery with labels so I like imagery with labels and you can put a default location in or just click save and this is a required question and save it again when your survey is built you can click publish and click OK and publish when your survey is published click OK and click collaborate here is where you'll find a link to your survey and you can copy the URL you can show it in the QR code or open the survey in a new tab and you can decide who gets to see your survey. Everyone, members of your organisation, like your school um, or following groups if you had some set up. So we're just going to click everyone in this example and click save. Once your survey is saved we can just click analyse. And see that we've no surveys completed yet. So we can go back to collaborate and we can see the survey that we've just created and all our questions. So the next thing we'll do is we can fill in some surveys to do some analysis or at least show how to do some analysis in survey123. So I'm just going to fill some of these questions in. you how simple it is to fill in the survey in survey 123. You'll see the survey is filled in, it'll be the same on the survey 123 app on your device as well. We're just doing this on the computer but this can be accessed on any device. Um, so once the survey is filled in you can just refresh it and fill in a new survey if you like. This time I walk just in five minutes. No. Just putting some locations. You can zoom in and out on the map as well. And click submit. Next we can go back up to our survey and we can click analyse. And you'll see automatically the results from our surveys that we just filled in, the two surveys. Now if we had more surveys, we would get more information from these and it will all be broken down in this analysis tab. This moves us on to part two of this lesson on survey one, two, three. So we filled in some surveys after filling in the survey or creating the survey. We've analysed our results and next we want to go to data to see our points on the map. So we see the table of information, school A, school B, that we've just filled in, and we have the information. We can also click on either point on the map to see the information about each survey and how many surveys have filled in. Um, we can also click on our layers and our base map to change the base map. So OpenStreetMap is generally a good one. And we can continue our school transport study survey on a map by clicking open in a map viewer 
and we're just going to save our map give it the title school transport study and teach with GIS for the tags and save our map next like part one of today's training we can add more information to our map from ArcGIS Online to add more context to the results that we receive from our survey. So you can click Add and search for layers in ArcGIS Online and type in Schools Ireland and scroll down. And you can see that there's post-primary schools and primary schools available to us in ArcGIS Online. You can also zoom in an area where I know when the surveys was filled in. And you can see the location of our survey, the information as of five minutes the students are happy with their commute. And you can see the primary schools and the secondary schools that are around Navin for the student to go to. And you can also turn off your primary schools and your post-primary schools. You could then delve a bit deeper if you wanted and search for layers and arches online. So we could search for population in, population in Ireland and see if population has an impact on the school transport study um, in the given households across small areas, electoral divisions. Um, we could also search for roads, Ireland, and we could see all the different roads that go in and out of Navan or our different towns. And um, we could also search for bus stops to see if there's enough public transport if traffic is very bad. And you can see that the National Transport Authority has a public transport layer that we could add onto the map. Um, any sources really that come from GeoHive you can add in. They're from a range of different organisations and they're very reliable sources of data. So this one you can see the Dublin bus, bus Erin, the Nightlink, Lewis and Irish Rail services. And you could go through this with your students to see if there is an issue in certain towns with their commute to school or transport study. You could go and see why this is. Is it just to do with population or not enough services and so on. But really you can follow the exact same steps as we've done today to create a survey one, two, three for whatever topic that you're working on. You could also click add search for layers in my content and you can search by the tag OSI and note that all the Arches for Schools accounts have access to the OSI Map Genie web services for Ireland for discovery maps, historical maps and so on. So you can scroll and add them to the map. Or take them away, click X and back again and click save to save your map.